Wendy appears to have MRKH syndrome. What is that? It's a congenital disorder resulting in Lindy being born without a uterus, cervix, or vaginal canal. I feel so connected to this film in so many ways and it means so much to me. So I'm so grateful to be here finally celebrating it and it's finally coming out and I'm so excited. And yeah, it's, it's a really exciting moment and I hope people enjoy this film as much as I enjoyed making it. I just want you to feel like a normal teenage girl. I'm not normal. Stop trying to fix everything. <laughs> I've, I'm not a mother, and but playing a mother to a teenage girl, you really realize um, it brings you back to your teenagehood, and um, and any of the struggles you have, like with Rita, any kind of body issues that she feels and doesn't want to impart on her daughter, but you find yourself doing that. There is this kind of um, generational trauma that mm -hmm. can get passed down, and uh, it just made me really recognize that and leave this movie being kinder to yourself, but we're so hard on ourselves, on our bodies, especially mm -hmm. as women. Mm -hmm. And I just got a little chill because I remember it was such an accepting environment. I didn't even feel like as an, I've been an actor all my life and a lot of the time I'm like, oh, I look big in this or I would, in that environment, I didn't even think of that. To own who you are is up to you. No one should ever make you feel ashamed of that. People with MRKH seeing themselves being represented for the first time on screen mm -hmm. is like so powerful and I feel so honored to be a voice for the community. I'm pissed I can't complain about my period. Being 16 is just bloody hell, isn't it?